well and keeping safe. Welcome to another episode of Sunday School Activities. It was on a starry night when the hills were bright, a place sleeping, sleeping calm and still. Then in a cattle shed, in a manger bed, the boy was born, king of all the world. And all the angels sang for him, the bells of heaven rang for him, for a boy was born, king of all the world. And all the angels sang for him, the bells of heaven rang for him, for a boy was born, king of all the world. Soon the shepherds came that way where the baby lay and the kneeling, kneeling by his side and their hearts believed again for the peace of men for a boy was born king of all the and all the angels sang for him, the bells of heaven rang for him, for a boy was born, king of all the world. And all the angels sang for him, the bells of heaven rang for him, for a boy was born, king of all the world. Hello children. So today we're looking at the Lord's Prayer and you can find this in the book of Matthew chapter 6 from verses 9 to 13 and again in the book of Luke chapter 11 and that's from verse 2 to 4. Now the key message that I would like you to take away today is the fact that prayer is simply having a conversation, it's talking to God and when we talk, when we have conversation, we talk and we listen. And when we talk to God, our prayers, they don't need to be fancy. We don't need to be using lots of big words. It's just simply speaking what's here in our heart and learning to listen as well. Now I'm going to hand you over to Uncle Barry and he's going to go through the Lord's Prayer and what it means. Hello, Sunday Club. Today I'll try to explain the Lord's Prayer. So let us begin. Our Father, what does that mean? Well, we believe there's no God up above and we should address him as our Father. You see, this demonstrates the closeness, that intimate relationship we have with him. Hallowed be your name. What does this mean? It means your name is holy. We need to proclaim that the God we serve is great and is powerful. So we need to go on the rooftop and shout it out for the entire world to know. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, in heaven, there is no disobedience or unwillingness to do God's job. But on earth, there is. So, we are requesting, we are asking the Lord 
to grant us the power and desire to do the things that they do in heaven, on earth. So we are hoping and we are praying and we are requesting that what is it they do in heaven will be done on earth at some time in the future. And that can be achieved through us doing His will here on earth. Give us our daily bread. Bread is food, isn't it? <laughs> yes, but it means a little more than just that. Bread here refers to our daily needs. What is it we need to take us through the day? Here we are making another request. We are proclaiming. We are open to the fact that we are reliant on God up above to provide for us what we need to go through each and every day. Not our greeds, but our needs. And the next one. Forgive us of our debts as we also forgive our debtors. Debts here refers to our wrongdoings, our sins. We are making another request. We are asking the Lord to forgive us of our wrongdoings and sins. But we are also making a declaration. That is, we are making a statement that we, as believers and as followers, are also prepared to forgive those who have done wrong against us. Which is a good thing. Then we have this. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Let me make this clear. God never encourages us to sin. But he has the power to lead us away from tempting situations, especially when we are going through hard times, when we are most vulnerable. So here we are making another request. We are asking him to show us the way out when we are faced with these difficult challenges and choices in life. Especially when we are going through a difficult time. So Sunday Club, we need to acknowledge that a good prayer is one that always praises God and gives him the credit he deserves. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Goodbye. We've been looking at the Lord's Prayer today and how Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. So to help us pray, we're going to make a prayer template. Now it's very simple this week. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen. A pen that doesn't run away. You don't need, I've got laminated paper, but you don't need that. Any old piece of paper will do. And in fact, if you kept a book with empty pages, you could write each day your prayer template and keep it. Otherwise, if you do it on laminated paper, you just clear it off. But that doesn't matter. First thing you have to do is to divide it into four parts. And we put a different heading in each part. So the first one is I love you. This helps us in our prayers to express how much we love God and to think how much he loves us. 
The second one is sorry. How often do we have to say sorry to people because we've hurt them, even though we didn't mean to? And it's also good to say sorry to God for the things we do wrong and ask him for his forgiveness. The third bit is help. This is for the things that you want to ask God for his help with, whether it's getting on with other people, things you're worried about, or anything like that. That's a good place to start. And the last one is very important. Thank you. How often do we say thank you to people? How often do we just ex accept what they give us and not acknowledge it? So let's say thank you to God for all the good things we, he gives us, because that's very important. So that's your template, and that's all the things you need to, to pray about. That's how the Lord's Prayer is broken down. I hope that will help you to pray. Now don't forget, in the coming weeks, or for the next week, Keep hold of your toilet roll inserts and your kitchen roll inserts because we'll need those for the craft. Bye. John 3.16, our memory verse. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have gone through and I hope that you have a better understanding of what the Lord's Prayer is about. Let's just do it together if you can um, but I think let's let's sing it. It'll be something different. Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. Amen. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care. God bless you. Bye.